Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Wish popping. What's going on in the life of an Aquarian? For the first half of May, the 1st to the 15th. Who's on time? This girl's on time. Bam! Ow! Working on Okay? This will be for my summer rather than as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aquarius, you guys. This is simply a general reading. It's not a personal. If you need personal, that information can be found within the, within the, the description. Jupiter this is still not fucking with me like that, okay? Um, you guys, if you missed the community tab post, I'm currently running a special. Um... And I, it's, it's not going to make it to every sign's video. So if you cross-watching for the sign of Aquarius, <laughs> you might want to listen up. Put your ears out real, re, put your ears out like this, okay? Um, I am running currently a special there. I do have a 10-minute uh, one question, one answer reading going on right now, ending on the 29th. I also have a $25 two question, two answer, 15-minute reading, as well as a 30-minute three question, 30-minute um, $50 special going on um and usually all of those i don't really even offer the 10 to 25 dollar reading anymore so definitely take advantage of advantage advantage of that as well as um take advantage of the 30 the 30 minute special as well because it's usually a bit more than that okay so let's rock out all right uh you guys to the new subscribers hey boo hey i'm mocha this first time to my channel also if it's first time to my channel look out i cuss so if cussing does not work for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on youtube that can further assist you without cussing because me the way i'm set up i'm gonna do that all right to the return of subscribers from alia what's popping you guys as you know we don't fight and fuss on this channel we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do cuss <laughs> we grow we love we enlighten we evolve positive vibes only over here, all right? So, without further ado, this will be for my Aquarius, 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 for the first half of May. Let's get it. All right, so we're going to start off with your intuitive messages first. Y'all know how I get down. I'm doing things a bit differently uh, because I was actually in transition, and I got to make sure that these videos get out in time as well as actually got to make sure that um, they're not so long because I got to figure out how the hell to download, I mean, uh, to delete some of this stuff off my memory, okay? So work with me, you guys. So the messages uh, that I got intuitively for Aquarius for uh, the month of May is gratitude. New love, collaboration, trust, rectification, divine guidance, birth, birthright, life purpose, blockages, standing in your power, life cycles, boundaries, rapid manifestations, synchronicities, dreams, assets, wealth. Miracles, respect, forgiveness, crutch, trust, and speak up. Okay? So that is the messages that I actually have for my Aquarius. 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 Intuitively, okay? The energy surrounding the reading um, is the two of hearts. So I definitely feel like some of you guys are truly, truly, truly focused on the things in which you love, the things in which you're passionate about, your life purpose, and you're really putting your focus on the things that make sense at this point, okay? And for some of you all, it's having to do with the love relationship. Spirit told me that I was actually connecting with three groups of Aquarians. Uh, one group of Aquarian could have recent, one group of you Aquarians could have recently got out of a relationship. This is before we get into the angel messages because I'm doing things a bit differently. Instead of laying oracle cards, I laid angel messages to give you your spirit messages from, and that's how I was kind of informed to do things. Um, so I laid angel messages, but I'm also going to lay a spread just a little bit for love. It's going to be a short spread because again, these videos cannot be long, you guys. But I am, uh, I'm going to break this down for the group of Aquarians that I'm connecting with. It's three, it's three of y'all. Okay, the first group, some of you all may be focused on um, some type of chakra clearing, some type of alignment. Okay, you guys could have recently disconnected from a situation or are waiting on some type of total finalization from a situation. This is also intuitively okay. Um, you guys could be waiting on some type of final finalization or some type of situation to close out before there can be a proper alignment of something that is done supposed to be done in divine timing. For some of you all, this has to do with contractual agreements or some type of collaboration with moving forward as far as a business deal and for some of you all you really needed to trust some y'all this group of Aquarians who I'm talking to the issue of around the resistance and things moving forward is the fact that you don't trust 
period, okay? Some of y'all got massive trust issues that you really needed to heal from, and which is why even in your love life, things, things are surfacing to this particular group of Aquarian. Things are surfacing that are outside of your control that are kind of forcing you to make, make a decision for you to be more optimistic and have a bit more faith in what you've been moving through. And in gratitude, you find abundance in the things that you're trying to manifest. That's the first group of y'all. Second group of you all, I definitely feel like there's a sense of setting boundaries. Some of you guys have been giving away your self-worth, giving away your value, giving away your worth. And I feel like there's a sense of doing this because there's an ultimate fear of you guys being alone and not feeling really secure and actually standing standing firm within your like standing firm within your own autonomy because you've gotten so used to someone either being there to give you the answer, to validate what it is that you're feeling, to validate um to validate how it is that you're feeling, to validate pretty much the way you raise your kids, pretty much your structure around things. And this person uh, during this time, I feel like this could this could be energy kind of coming into the end of April. Some of y'all can have somebody just literally up and just say, fuck it, I don't want to do this no more. But this is about you standing in your own autonomy and you showing yourself. Because a lot of you guys, I'm going to be real with this second group, of, uh, second group and I'm, I, I, I was getting ready to say parents. So some of y'all have already been single parents by yourself. If you truly sit back and just stop and really step outside of your everyday flow but look out like look into look into the window as if you're looking um, from the outside looking in you've already I'm, I'm hearing that you've already been um a single parent you've already been um someone who have pretty much been raising your kids and making this flow go by yourself, this other person was just simply there. And I feel like that kind of made this person feel a bit demasculated. There's a lot of pride and ego that's preventing this particular situation around the family with moving forward. But it's something about the snatching away. So during this time, either this person may leave or you may be snatching away your energy from someone pretty much for them to show a motherfucker, uh -huh, this is how much you need me, okay? But it's not for it's not. For you to do it from a place of ego but from a place of self-worth self-value and knowing what it is that you deserve okay third group of y'all some of you guys is something around inheritance royalty ancestry it's something around um some type of lineage some type of bloodline this could be assets this could even be unexpected windfalls that you guys did not expect coming i'm also feeling this is a group of aquarians where things are literally just going to be falling in your lap during this time whether it's resources i'm also hearing rich in resources so it's something about if you are in any type of entrepreneurship or moving towards any type of business idea or business structure i'm also hearing the second group and the I mean, I'm sorry the first group and the first group and third group are some of the same or also, uh, some of you guys can uh, correlate with the first group of Aquarians who I was talking to, whomever this is for as well. There's some type of windfall. There's a need for you guys to get some type of information around 401k investments, IRAs, or some type of, uh, and also some some of you all, you may be in the process of finding out that with something falling in your lap, you have to actually have to spend some type of money to research some type of like old court documents. I'm hearing 10 years for some of you all. I'm hearing 15 years, but there's some type of property assets that's literally going to fall in your lap. And whoever, whatever Aquarian that I'm speaking about, this is someone who was already either uh, in the process of moving or possibly your past was already in some sort of real estate. So your own ancestral home is going to teach you teach you about as far as marketing, even if you want to rent this out, because I'm also hearing rent. I also heard real estate. So some of you guys could be renting out some type of inherited property and you're learning all about assets, investors. I'm hearing the second deal is your best deal. The first deal, read around, read the fine print within the paperwork, whoever. Third, third, third group, read the fine print within the paperwork because it's something about the first deal that's a bit off and it could have to do, I'm hearing fluctuations. So it's got to do with fluctuation. Okay. Whew. So that's the Aquarius that I was talking to right so let's get into these angel messages i know y'all like mocha yes y'all i've been going through downloads and it's been very massive and i have to flow so you see my hands going like this it's me trying to catch all the information at once because it, i have i'm an over so i come with many spirit guides so with that said i have to kind of keep keep steady okay your first message comes from Archangel Chamuel, okay and you guys i am using the doreen virtue oracle angel um, oracle angel Oracle Angel message, uh, Oracle Angel Crystal. Oh, let me show y'all the damn box. I hate being wrong. It's Aries and me. It's the Archangel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay. I get so tired of them damn romance angels. I'm tired of seeing them. It's the Aries and me maybe speaking my mind too much, but I'm pretty sure y'all ass is tired of seeing them too. Okay. So let's get into these Oracle messages. The first message for you guys comes from Archangel Chamuel. You got beloved one. 
beloved one, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So for some of you all, this has to do with boundaries. For some of you all, I feel like this has to do, a lot of you all will be in this energy of really, um, the foundation, there's something about the foundation. It starts at home. So you're really needing to, because some of you all may feel like you're losing control in every aspect of your life. Well, setting boundaries really start at the foundation. If your foundation is off, there is nothing that is going to follow in order for there to be a, a stable structure to stand on. If shit's rocky, starting off with so there's a need for you guys to not allow people to do certain things in your energy not allow be not not be so allowing during this time be allowing and receiving to your blessings but know the difference to discern between the two because for some of you all there's this energy of allowing someone to maneuver around you and you needing to um to, you needing to um to use to um, exercise your throat chakra and speak up for yourself. Some of you guys are being divinely guided, okay, to be literal channels to uh, of getting somebody, somebody getting their shit together. Something that you say could possibly trigger someone, or something that someone else say that someone else says could possibly trigger you or take you into this deja vu moment to make you feel like, but well, damn it, I've been here before. It's a lot of past life energy that is reoccurring currently right now. So a lot of you guys may be regressing back and forth, uh, even in your dream state. And uh, in your subconscious state, when you're meditating from here into a past life during this time, so there's a need for you guys to stay centered, grounded, but speak up, speak your truth. Even the esoteric information that you're going to be receiving or could be receiving during this time from your ancestors that have crossed over to the other side, there's this need of um, kind of being innovative about sharing information, but you coming out of your shell in order to do it because some of y'all are so worried about perception during this time, how people are going to perceive you, okay? You got to do some crazy. Nobody ever talked about the motherfucker who, made, who, who who just followed the rules. Remember that. Okay? Remember that. Some of you guys may be in this place of finding feathers. Okay? Some of you guys may also be traveling around some type of rocks or planning some type of trip around some type of rocks or some type of mountain. Some of you guys could be going to the Grand Canyon or looking up, uh, looking up uh, like traveling to the Grand Canyon or some type of hiking. Okay? For some of you all. The next message that you guys got was overcoming difficulty, overcoming difficulties. This comes from Archangel um, Germio. OK, it says the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So, again, that's this issue of confidence, self-value, self-worth, not needing anyone to validate anything for you, but for you to have this all knowing, this trusting and for you to be able to will things within your life without having to worry about them. More willing, less worry. If you're going to worry, don't pray. And if you're going to pray, why worry? Period. You have to have this all-knowing type of faith in this in, 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 during this time because a lot of you guys, it, it, your ancestor spirit is coming through very, very, very strongly. Some of y'all may even be finding feathers, white feathers. I don't know if I told y'all this last time, but it feels real familiar with me saying it. But I don't know. A lot of you guys may be finding white feathers. Some of you all may be. Um, some of y'all may find that you have the ability to astral travel during this time. So some of you guys could be astral traveling and uh, possibly aligning things, possibly in the in, in the five D realm. But there's this need for you to actually surmount the 4D rim of fears, doubt, um, um, uh, low confidence, uh, perception, or per, uh, feeling as if people automatically perceive you negatively and just to say, fuck them people. They gonna always have an opinion, whether you're doing positive or negative. It's just people shit. It's the way of people. You can't change that. You can only adjust yourself in the way that you move and the way that you do things and act accordingly, period, okay? Which brings me to uh, your next message. It says divine order. Okay. From Archangel Ragio. Hold on. Okay. It says everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Takes me back to foundations. If this has to do with the, some type of home structure or some type of um, structuring around you just really creating balance in your life for some of you all it is removing certain things in your life people places things jobs situationships circumstances that you feel as if it's kind of holding you back because they don't offer your life any any sense of growth and stability or any sense of like uh, uh, the sense of like a, a, a firm or steady foundation and so instead of depending on others to bring you a sense of that of where it's like fuck it I'm going to go get it my own self and spirit going to show you what just what you capable of when you do put your damn hat on your fuck it cap on and there's a need for you guys to balance your fucks you can't give a fuck about all of these circumstances and still find sanity within the self so there's a need for you guys to allow things to flow because some of y'all are going to realize that you've been the crutch to people's karma cold world Somebody got to tell you, luckily, it's my loving ass. I love the shit out of you, so you know we family. I'm going to tell you. But some of you guys, 
in removing yourself from people's energy, you're gonna find that damn, you really needed me like the first of 15. Like you thirsty, thirsty for my energy. And a lot of you all are gonna be in this energy of protecting, protecting yourself, grounding yourself, connecting more with spirit than you ever have before in your life. For those of you who are uh fighting any type of legalities or any type of legal cases around assets or any type of divorces and things of that nature, I am seeing positive news coming towards that. Some of y'all got a badass crown chakra activation that's coming. I feel like there's some type of esoteric information. This could be coming from ancestors on the other side, or this could be coming from some type of like spirit guides for some of you. Some of you all, I'm also hearing that this could also be coming from some, some type of telepathic connection that you have with someone. It's around perception, like the way that you perceive the issue. There's going to be a shift in perception. Were you in this place where you're feeling like, okay, well, I definitely knew I made the right decision. I definitely knew that, you know, I was supposed to move this way. Some of y'all beating yourself up about a direction that you took as far as your path, and you're going to realize that you was more on the right path than you thought you was. But the only thing the Spirit needed you to do for, to, needed for you to do was stop resisting having to let things and people, places, and go and trying to control how things leave your life or come into your life or how they should be. Because ultimately, it was you and unions by your damn self, you and collaborations and partnerships by your damn self. And it's Something about at that very moment, Aquarius was changed. Okay, which brings me to my last angel message that you guys received was Archangel Raziel, baby, take your power back. Use your God given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So, what Aquarius needs to be focused on again, I told you, willing, more willing, less worry. Okay, that's not my name this video. More will, less worry. If you can put that same intention, you guys, when you guys worry about things, I want you to be honest and comment. Focus. In the last two weeks, I want y'all to think back and reflect. Y'all Aquarius, y'all great at this. Think back and reflect. In the last two weeks and two months, think negatively that you have thought about in your life and you have obsessed over these negative things. How did they turn out for you? For some of y'all, they turned out to shits because you gave that, you gave that, that vibration of negativity, that power in order to do so. Reality swells where the mind dwells. That said, will it into your life, speak it, see it, envision it. You guys are visionaries. So what it is that you actually believe in is truly what actually builds the intention behind the manifestation of that in which you wish to see harvest. So think about it. And only think about it from a positive space. Now let's talk about love. Okay? But there's a need for you guys not to keep giving situations, circumstances, people your damn power who don't appreciate it. For what? So if you have to leave situation, spirit is in divine order. Everything is how it needs to be. You will understand it soon. Some of y'all going to start understanding it coming from a form of your dream space. With that, again, that perception shift. Some of y'all may have somebody treat you ice cold. And then you may dream of this person as a damn child or something like that. To be able to see why they found power and belittling you. Because this person, they don't, they, they, they need that control in order to love. They don't know how to love. They know how to control. And it was the humbling of your spirit that got their ass together. It's like Aquarius made them see the signs. It opened up their eyes. They saw the signs. Okay. <laughs> so spirit, what can my beautiful Aquarius expect in love the first half of May? Between the 1st and the 15th of May. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so some of you all are going to be in this flourishing, independent energy, okay? Some of you guys will have the uh will have the opportunity or the um there will be an opportunity that presents itself for some form of reconciliation. I definitely feel like this could have been you or the other person in the past who have been very confused on which way to go or they kind of caused you this feeling of um, not knowing, okay? Some of you guys are just releasing yourself from that shit. You're going to focus on your own stability, focus on putting that love and that restoration in yourself, which is going to hurt a lot of feelings, I'm saying. It's going to hurt a lot of people's feelings, especially if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong emphasis on the Libra, because some of y'all may be actually offering your cup of love during this time to a, uh, to a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I definitely feel like you're moving away from someone, again, who some of y'all are moving away from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're moving away from this person, not for them, but for you. Because ultimately, it's kind of like this sense of optimism, kind of like a kid in the damn candy store for the first time. Some of you guys know what it's like.
to receive toxic love. You know what it's like, you know, to receive bare minimal and bare effort from somebody. And because you know what it is that you present and what it is that you add to a relationship, you're refusing to allow someone to come into your world with half fastness. Some of you guys are going to be victoriously, after moving possibly away from a fire sign, some of y'all could be running death smack dab into a damn Capricorn who's going to want everything it is that you've been wanting. So there's a need for you guys to allow the towers in order to make room for abundance that's trying to come into your life because everybody ain't meant for you to go eat to, to move forward with you to eat within eat within your season okay there was a reason for you to learn a lesson of why you had to choose yourself to know how to recognize it recognize it by recognizing shadow aspects of ourselves can we definitely have foresight and like damn rare x-ray x-ray vision to see that shit in another person, but it's not from looking at that, looking at the situation from a place of blame or malice. Like you did this, you did this, you did this. No, because you have done that, you. I thank you for doing that, because you have allowed me to learn what it is that to know what it is that I deserve. You've allowed me to to build this sense of freedom and optimism and this sense of strong faith. Why I never trusted me before to be able to take a chance on me, like I've given all of this energy into other people to constantly see emptiness. But now with me trusting me and my seeing things falling into my lap. So because spirit can show me I can have whatever I like, I got to move forward because I'm moving forward. Moving forward am I transforming? I have everything that I need because of you. Even if it's because you taught me how not to do some shit through your lack that I learned what it is that I deserve. So thank you. Thank you for surfacing those feelings of abandonment. Or thank you for surfacing those feelings of rejection. Thank you for surfacing those things because I worked my ass off moving past you who projected these things towards me, who made me heal from these things. I'm not even mad at you. I thank you because you show me who the fuck I'm truly able able and capable of being and who I aspire I only now at this point I don't aspire to be you know better than the girl who you cheated with or better than the person who you who you chose over me or who I felt as if you chose over me because ultimately you chose your own damn mirror you are what you attract so if he was a hoe he attracted a hoe where, where are they now okay that said you're moving into a very transformative period where if you think it it comes to you but you have to envision it and have this sense of foresight some of you guys are moving forward and actually going through some type of transformation, possibly with an Aries person. I also see some of you guys putting all of your focus, your lust, your passion into your life purpose. And if you taking that chance and jumping off the cliff and not worrying about what the fuck people going to say, you're going to learn that spirit elevates people, not motherfuckers' negative opinions. Okay? Some of you all, if there was indecision about reconciling with someone, Due to the fact that some of y'all could have been reconciling with someone, but they had to leave another party first. Some of you guys are trans. Some of y'all, some of y'all gonna tell somebody you want a divorce. I'm tired of your shit, and this person gonna say, "No, baby, I want to fix it." Allow the towels to fall, but there's a sense of compromise. And I also see some of you guys uh, speaking about there. There are talks about therapy during this time. Some of you guys, it's just a focus on moving forward. And some of you all, you're going to be receiving or giving a cup of love possibly to a Leo. Some of you guys are restoring some type of restoring or renewing some type of family dynamic, but there's a need for you to move slowly, not impulsively. And for some of you all who've been very in your head about where am I moving to? Am I going to be approved? How am I going to move? I do feel I'm here in rich in resources and I feel the energy of a collaborative effort. So I definitely feel like that's not your worry. It's only for you to plan accordingly. And again, I'm hearing second option. So some of you guys will have two options to move from. I'm feeling something is more so tied into some type of like, something can be tied into some type of like corporation likes or some type of like um, group or program. And something could be tied to something individual or privately owned. I do see you guys going with the privately owned property. And I also see you guys, um, some of y'all may actually be traveling, like completely rooting up, uprooting everything and just choosing to move, start completely over in a whole other state. Some of y'all could be having, having resolutions before the 1st of June. I'm going to be out this bitch. And whoever does that, I see you living by some water where there's a lot of sun. Some y'all are some y'all going to stay by a very rocky climate where it could be a bit cold. I'm here in Colorado. So some of y'all could be thinking about moving to Colorado. Some of y'all y'all some y'all think I'm moving to California. Some, somebody, who the hell is thinking, who the hell, Wyoming? Some of y'all think about moving to Arkansas. Some of y'all finna come on down to te Texas, baby, okay?
Some of you guys are thinking about moving to Arizona. The move definitely looks prosperous. I definitely feel like there's a need for you to gather more information, especially when it goes, especially if you have children and you're going to be having to uproot the children and move them into a whole other community district. There's a need for you guys to have solid, kind of make solid decisions so, you, so that you can have the conversations with your family so that things can progress um, progress in a comfortable way where it's not a bit of a hassle, you know? But I do see Aquarius making decisions, moving things slowly, following their passions, following their intuition, cutting out anything that does not bring their life growth and anybody who has made them feel anything, any person, any situation. Some of y'all going to be cutting out the third party situation or a third party situation is ended so somebody can start new, possibly with a fire sign. And this could have been a situation where someone wanted to hold on to just a sexual connection because they've been having dreams and some type of, um, some, some, somebody wants somebody to hold on until they got their shit together. But Aquarius is saying, you know what, I'm just going to make the decision for you to get my own shit together. And you better hope and pray and wish on a star that I'm still here <laughs> when you decide to get it together. Get right or get your ass left. Period. That's what I'm seeing. All right. So this is what I have for my Aquarians for the month of May. 2019. If you guys need a personal reading, take advantage of those specials, and I will definitely see you guys back here mid month. I owe you guys a live session. Remind me. I love y'all. Namaste, baby.